Um, so this sort of information will be quite nice in actually breaking up that, that highlight. A sort of noisy, rough pattern. Um, and in my spec map, I kind of like the fact that this is quite flat. Um, there's no there's no heavy lighting information um, affecting it. What I probably will start to do is maybe um, overlay a cavity on top of this to, to sort of help block out the spec in a few little areas, um, like maybe some of these crevices. But I don't want it so heavy handed that my diffuse or anything I've sort of painted before is actually affecting this sort of lighting information. Because uh, this this really is is a is a map that really helps control um, how this how the surface is sort of bouncing back that sort of light highlight back back to you. And if, if it's got like shaded reasons, um, if you're actually viewing the model from the shaded region uh, there should still be somewhat of a, a highlight from there if light is hitting it, but if you've sort of painted it not to have that information, it'll sort of never be there, if that makes sense. Okay. So. So I was pinning that to the cavity just to affect it only. And I'm just using this to sort of punch out some of those crevices. Like, I don't really want the spec to hit these tiny little crevices. Um, otherwise, in 3D, you can start to look a little weird. Like it's nice to get that highlight on the edge. Um, but so a region like this you can start to see it it starts to look a little strange where it's all glowing and it's getting a little bit too bright and it's sure it's realistic but it's I think if you had like geometry in there to support that crevice it would look far better. Um, leaving it as is, um, but since we don't have the geometry there um, and we're sort of just relying on a normal map, things can start to look a little weird and sort of blow out the spec like it is in this region. Um, so to sort of counteract that, counteract that um, I'm using this cavity map here to sort of block out a few of those regions. Um, I'll also go in and sort of hand paint some of that information out as well. Just along here. Oops. Just darken that region up just so we're not getting that strange behavior. And just to provide some context, I will quickly copy and paste this over. Yep. So you can start to see it breaking up the highlight a little bit. Um, we're also getting some weird lines through our, our spec map and that's just a result of us pasting a, a texture straight in and we need to actually go in and start to refine that a bit more. to remove these sort of artifacts.
another region I'll, I'll do this sort of information is like uh, it may not be quite so actually regions kind of like behind the ears or like behind the eye socket or sort of the inside of the mouth cavity uh, I'll sort of like blacken out like this in the spec map quite a bit um, I'm sure you've seen games where the inside of the mouth is kind of glowing sometimes um, this is a kind of trick to get away from that using clone to get rid of some of this information. You can play with your values as well to see if that's actually going to give you a better result. Maybe. So I'm thinking maybe I need to adjust the metalness as well. Uh, things could be getting a little too dark. Uh, so if I... yeah, so that's I dropped the amount of I dropped the effect of the metalness map, and that's actually brought back a lot of our diffuse texture coloring. Um, the way the metalness map sort of works is it's actually going to start darkening your diffuse, uh, the closer you have this to sort of white. Um, and then sort of, I, I guess, blending in the environment map more intensely on top. Um, so what's that? Can we push it a little bit? Um, and then that's kind of looking 